Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're a returning subscriber and if you're new to this channel, welcome. This is Moonchild Fragrances and we actually talk all about fragrances, smelling good, feeling good. If you're all about that life, this is the place to be. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. So today I have a really cool video. I'm here to share with you a whole brand review of Fugazi fragrances. To me personally, I feel like these fragrances are perfect you know, sort of starter pack level entry into the niche world. They are very minimalistic, I feel, and I feel like there's something for everybody. Personally, I would say these fragrances are more masculine leaning as much as I don't like generalizing fragrances in that because there's something for everybody. I, I would wear a few from here, but it's more of like a f masculine sort of uh, quick easy reach compared to a woman so I'm going to share with you all the nine fragrances and in the end I'm going to tell you what my top fragrances are so if you're interested keep on watching first one that I have is angel dust and this is a very it's a very fresh citrusy musk fragrance I feel like this, when you put it on your skin, it almost feels like a second skin. It's almost like a molecular fragrance. And what stands out to me is there's a slight touch of some woodiness. I would literally put this on as an everyday today fragrance. Like I personally love this. I could wear this in summer. Or if I'm going to the, to work and I really don't want to offend anyone. It's a very inoffensive fragrance. Key players in this are like a white amber with cashmere and some white woods. And a bit of musk. That's what I get. Everything feels very white. Like I don't know how to explain this but very transparent. And I think it's perfectly encapsulated in this sort of bottle. So the next one that I have is Workaholic. And Workaholic to me is a very cool fragrance because it's got these touches of coffee. Coffee is the dominant player and I think it's a very realistic coffee. Like when you just open the coffee pot, the first whiff you get, that's what I get. This is like a very natural, real coffee. And it's got ounces of rose and I think some musk and vanilla when you spray this on you actually get a very very realistic coffee and then it suddenly dries down to a rose that you start appreciating after a while it's very comforting and i think it's lovely for the evenings or i would literally think it's an easy reach during the cooler winter months next one i have is sugar daddy first of all the names of these fragrances are just so cool and interesting i think they just make me smile Sugar Daddy is like this tangerine that has touches of nutmeg and cloves with a bit of jasmine. And I think if it smells really interesting and when you put this on, it kind of reminds me of a Middle Eastern dessert because Middle Eastern desserts are very rich in spices and it's got a touch of some vanilla. I personally think this is a masculine leaning fragrance. I wouldn't reach out for this much, but I think if I was a dude, I'd wear this when I'm just going out meeting my friends, we're going out, we're just hanging out. It's just a no-brainer sort of just chill out vibe, smell interesting and feel a bit, you know, cool about it. That's what I think of Sugar Daddy. Right now we have Thirsty. Thirsty is a perfect summer fragrance. Like I like this. I would wear this a lot and I think it's very, very interesting. It's pretty interesting because it's got this green apple that comes to mind and it's got touches of bamboo, some jasmine, neroli, mm, some musk and cedar. This is why I feel like it leans more on the fresher side just because of the bamboo and the cedar and the musk. And the touch of jasmine just makes it more grounded. I feel it's just hanging around and the jasmine just pulls all of them together right at the center. This is so refreshing and so like mass pleasing. Like this is so 
nice like i would wear this a lot during summer it kind of gives me the vibe of poet of berlin by wilhelm perfumery but this one has a beautiful different dimension to it the projection on this one is pretty good as well for a summer scent which a lot of summer fragrances struggle with so i really appreciate that so right now we have saint remy if i tell you guys i don't know why the fragrances actually remind me of the juice inside it's so i just love the colors they've chosen because when i smell this it reminds me of rain you know when rain hits the earth it's such a beautiful scent that's what this literally reminds me of and it does look like rain if you think about the color of it some gray clouds with some you know water pouring down from the sky mm. immediately when you spray on saint remy you get this burst of like bergamot and magnolia and some sandalwood and some ginger and a very very shy leather note almost like you can smell each and every note listed but at the same time it's so beautifully composed together like there isn't one note that is standing out more than the other i just feel like it's a very beautifully blended fragrance this musk in here is very sensual and also the leather here is very soft i would wear this almost every single day because i think it's a no easy reach it's a no-brainer it's very sensual there's something sexy about it and it's almost not very overpowering it feels like you just haven't tried too hard that's what saint remy is to me the next one i have is in love with the cocos Personally, I feel coconut has actually been sort of marketed as a very feminine note just because it's used so much in like body creams, hair products, you name it, like fragrances. And for a man to sort of pull it off, you know, he needs to find a fragrance that isn't too coconut leaning. And that's what I feel like in love with the cocos is. It's a very, very it's almost sickly sweet like cough syrup like very very sweet coconut i think when you spray this you get immediately touches of some lemon with bergamot and i think the most standing out floral in this is geranium so if you love geranium you would really like this fragrance and then I feel like the coconut isn't the main play in this. I feel like it's just dancing behind these other notes. I would think this is a great like summer fragrance because of the coconut and if I'm going on vacation and I want to wear something that isn't very pronouncing about off the coconut note, but I want the coconut note. But if you layer in love with the cocos with angel dust or Saint Remy, you'll get a different dimension that you would really enjoy next scent that i have is orange crush orange crush is what you see what you get if you love the note of orange then this is just perfect for you i feel like this is a very i've just sprayed it on a blotter and it's this realistic orange note with some transparency so the amber is very transparent in this and very very mild and also the woody note in this is also very mild. The prominent note is your orange. I think I would wear this in the summer. And again, if I want to just add more complexity to it, as it's a very simple fragrance, I would layer, you know, angel dust or even some parfum one because it does have some orange in it and you would just smell more of a dessert. Next I have is good. Wood is an oud with definitely you get nuances of rose and jasmine and leather. Those are the key players when I smell this. I would picture this on a guy who loves his ouds that are sweet. It's not on the drier side. And you would wear this a lot during winter because I feel like winter and oud just are a beautiful combination it really uplifts the oud and it kind of does have a better siage because of the cold 
but yeah this is a very very to me it's a very simple oud rose combination nothing complicated last but not least we have parfum one and i covered this in my top winter fall fragrances oh, this is a beautiful spicy fragrance what you get is spearmint a very prominent spearmint that gives it its spiciness with touches of black currant and some patchouli a very very heavy patchouli with this australian sandalwood which is a very high quality of sandalwood and some cedar wood definitely get some cedar in this i feel like it almost smells like a dessert a middle eastern dessert to a certain extent and so beautiful it's very very unique but it's also very very like something about this just makes you want to hug someone there's something comforting in this i think it's a really beautiful fragrance to wear you know just when you want to yeah when you want to make an entrance it's very loud and it's also not very subtle so kind of makes you feel very very like i want to know this person who is this person i want to know more about this person they smell very interesting that's what i pick up whenever i smell parfum one we've reached the last part of the video and i want to show you my top four fragrances from this house the first one being parfum one as i mentioned this is a beautiful spearmint leather patchouli sandalwood fragrance that i would wear whenever it's during the cooler months and it sort of reminds me of a middle eastern dessert but obviously not in the gourmand way it can least angel dust i think this is a beautiful skin scent all year round and i would love to wear this with any other fragrance it's so easy to layer this with any fragrance from this house and other houses then we have thirsty thirsty is a beautiful bamboo green apple jasmine scent so stunning i think i would really love to wear this during the summer months just because it is very unique in its sense i barely come around fragrances that carry the bamboo note and it gives you this succulency and transparency as well but a bit of freshness and last but not least saint remy such a unique fragrance it's a very woody woody sort of rain reminiscence fragrance with touches of sandalwood and very very clean mild leather love this one please let me know if you've tried any of these fragrances and what are your thoughts on this or if you're willing to try any i'm more than happy to help but yes guys i hope you enjoyed watching my video i can't wait to see you on the next one